Hello everyone, welcome to the world of SQA. This is Tanbir Parvez, Associate SQA Engineer of Nasina Limited. Today, we will discuss about the basics of SQA. As we all know, SQA stands for Software Quality Assurance. So, let's start. To know about SQA, first of all, we need to discuss about some basic terminologies related to SQA. According to ISO 9000, quality is the degree to which a commodity meets the requirements of the customer at the start of its life. From this definition, it is clear to us that quality is the first requirement of a client or an user. About bug, it is an error, flaw, failure or fault in a computer program or system that causes it to produce an incorrect or unexpected result. The defects actually not only include bugs, but also any behavior not specified in test cases. And quality assurance actually is a part of quality management, focused on providing confidence that quality requirements will be fulfilled. Quality control is a system of maintaining standards in manufactured products by testing a sample of the output against the specification. The life cycle of software generally includes concept, description of requirements, design, implementation, testing, installation, maintenance, and support. Now, let's focus on SQA. SQA is the degree to which a system component or process meets specific requirements and customer or user needs or expectations. According to ISO definition, the totality of features and characteristics of a product or service that beat on its ability to satisfy specified or implied needs. In simple words, we can say SQA is set of systematic activities providing evidence to the ability of software process to produce a software product that is fit to use. So, if anyone wants to ensure the quality of a software, then he or she must have to go through the SQA process. And what about the users? The users never like bugs. So, to satisfy an user, you must need to provide a bug-free application or software. The main target of the developer is to build the software, whereas the main target of a SQA engineer is to break the system or find out the bugs. So, it is a never-ending cycle to decide who gets the upper hand. Often, the QA guys get frustrated with the developers, as the developers have some famous codes to protect themselves. Let's see some examples that might express the feeling of the developers. Just like, I know how to code, I can keep up with design, so why you guys are here? Why should you use it to this and that? I am designing the system, so they should just use it in my way. Okay, it is very difficult to apply this feature, let's change it. User can be convinced later on. I didn't do it and it's not my job to fix this, someone else will fix this. So. As you can see, the main task of the developers is to develop the system only. Sometimes, they may not be concerned about the quality. The QA engineer is responsible for guaranteeing a level of quality for the end client. So, let's focus on the software development ecosystem. This diagram shows the thoughts of the developers, QS and project managers. The developers always want to complete the task in any way. The main task of a QA is to measure development process has been done in proper way. And the main task of a project manager is to get the product in time. His target is to deliver the required product timely at any cost. This cycle describes the formal SQA process, which starts with the development phase. Then the pre-QA phase comes. Then QA phase for a smoke test then bug submission, then retest phase, then integration test, regression test, alpha test, beta test, and finally release comes. So we have completed the basic of SQA. We will discuss in depth in our next videos. Till then, take care and stay with us to get the SQA related knowledge.